We have at this point in time two convicted rugby players. Convicted, one for eight years and one for 11 years. One for raping a young woman in her own home, the other one in a gang rape and assault. They haven't even served one third of their term. They are playing rugby. They are being glorified. They are playing at national level. We have raised this four times and they played again in the Nawaka Sevens on Saturday. Nasila Sila and Lamba Lamba. So it's rugby over rape. And unfortunately, on social media, we have been lambasted so much and from women who are supporting them, giving them a chance. What about a chance to the woman who was raped? And it's totally against the policies. We have gone through all the policies and everything else. And we are calling upon the, uh, the Constitutional Services Commission to look into this because that employs the commissioner of uh, prisons, of uh, corrections and so on. So please, my plea to you is do not support rapists. Do not support them. They can be our fathers, they can be our brothers, they can be our sons. And they can be rugby players. A woman's life is worth much more than protecting these perpetrators. And perpetrators will perpetrate over and over again the more we excuse them. So I leave you with that thought. Please join us in the protest of not allowing convicted rapists to play rugby at the national level. They can play inside the prison because that's where they belong, not out there enjoying themselves while the women are suffering and continue to suffer. Have a great day, all of you, and all the best. Thank you.